So if you if you're lucky enough to follow me over here from Reddit, um, I'm back on YouTube. Uh, I don't I don't think my thumbnail is very good, <laughs> so it might look like junk. But uh, this is some algae right here. And it is, um, some people thought it was like a Volvox, but other people said that I, that I talked to and showed them pictures of this, that it was a Eudorina, Eudor, Eudorina, or E-U-D-O-R-I-N-A. So, yeah, this is good resolution here. So, look, I don't know if you could see this is good. Hey, Leah. Yeah, that's algae, so... Uh, sort of like a Volvox, a lot of people say, but you can see how it, it, it kind of vibrates there. They have, each one of those have a little cilia on them. And they, they actually, they're not connected by anything except swimming motion. There's nothing holding them together. So it's really strange. Yeah, stronger together, they sure are. So there you go. And I have a, uh, a good, um, if you're on Reddit, we just saw a uh, Busaria. Uh, Busaria, and it was eating like crazy. Yeah, Mason, I mean, there's pluses and minuses, yep. Yeah, Marbo, this is a AccuScope 3000. Yeah, the, the resolution is better. I mean, you can actually see the, the, the nucleus in there, mm -hmm. let's see, there's four clear dots all together, what is that, four? Oh, I don't know, it, it's, it could be just four smaller ones like this, or I don't think it could be a different species, uh, but I guess it could be, but yeah, it is crazy. I did notice that too, but they're just really too small for me to identify, no way. But a lot of people said this looks like COVID. <laughs> Yeah, I can see the chat. Yeah, on, on here, you can see it how I can see it, uh, or I guess close to how I can see it. Reddit's just not cut out for live videos, you know? It's just not gonna happen, so. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe on here. Get me over to 4,000. And what's good about YouTube, I hate to keep saying this, but I'm trying to grow my grow my channel but what's good about youtube right now i have 29 viewers on here well if if i have 29 viewers go for one minute that's 29 minutes so yeah you hear my granddaughter <laughs> she's she was in here looking at looking with it earlier but uh she bailed out <laughs> this right here if you've been with me a while, that's an amoeba lives in there called a testate amoeba. That's a shell. The shell is called a test for some reason. And that's what that is. So there you go. So if you want to look up, look up what I think this is, look up uh, E-U-D-O-R-N-I-A. And you should uh, find some pictures that look just like this. Yeah, Marbo. I mean, I have a biology degree, so it's something I liked all my life, but I don't work in biology. Um, so this is just a hobby. Yeah, somebody said, can you see the pseudopods? Well, if you, uh, let, let's see, if you're good at it, yes, you can see the pseudopods. So let if you look, all right, look at those little clear things at, on the bottom left, and that's the six o'clock and eight o'clock position, that's the amoeba. So you see it right there? This is from Puddle, this is from Puddle. So that's the amoeba right there. Check it out. So you're seeing the amoeba. You can see them inside his shell. That's his, some of him in there. Yeah, it could be, Tim. It's just a guess. You know, everybody has a guess. I mean, unless you actually break it apart and go, you know, look at it real real clear, we're not sure what those algae are. But look at it, you know, post your comments of what you think it is. 
That's appreciated. Yeah, so this one you can see he's moving toward the 9 o'clock position. So he's actually uh, crawling. So that's an amoeba, and he's on the move. So if you were lucky enough to see that, that's pretty good. And for whatever reason, YouTube doesn't let me control my focus. It always wants to be auto-focusing, so sorry about that. Uh, when will they die? Well, I mean, if, if, you, if you keep them in good water and, and you, yeah, I mean, you could feed them. You got to grow bacteria in there. They can live for a long time, months, I guess. But other stuff are going to eat them. So, you know, they don't live long in the wild, that's for sure. Let me look. I have a Bucerio on here, and he's really giant and he's been eating like crazy so let me try to what you got to do with to find stuff on here that's the end of the cover slide you see the glass right there so I, to find them look here's one right here i'm gonna i'm gonna add a little drop of water because i think this is drying up here so look at the water coming in see it <laughs> ah, tornado oh jeez Sorry about that, creatures. Look, uh, so there you go. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Annie M, Annie M. <laughs> Here come my granddaughter. <laughs> My granddaughter gets bored. Uh, some of them will die. Some of them will just dry out and come back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so with that drop of water, I'm not sure what we're going to see. You're going to see some more things. That's These are sp spirostonum. They're, uh, these are single-celled creatures. They're uh, not worms, although they look like worms. This, uh, I'm not sure what that is. That could be a, that could be one of those big guys too. So I think that drop of water I put in gave me a bunch of spirostonum. See them right here? I got a whole bunch of these. <laughs> so... Oh, there he is. This, this is my favorite on this slide right here, Bucerea. Yeah, that could have been a paramecium, but he was kind of dark for me to see. I couldn't tell. I'm wondering if he was uh, a small one of these things right here, Bucerea. So this is a single-celled organism that's been eating good for a while. On Reddit, we saw him eat. Look at that giant creature he's got inside of him. Watch. You're going to see this thing eat. He can eat a paramecium. Nah, I, you know, bottled water is pretty clean. Hey, you want to do dark field? I don't know what dark field. Let's try dark field real quick. Cover your eyes for a minute. All right, so. There you go. So this is dark field where you light up from the top and some on the bottom. So this is this is a more of a reality of what they look like. They more they're more clear uh, than you see in bright field. Bright field lights them from the bottom, so you see more contrast. This lights them from the top. It it bends the light around them. It's just a little slide underneath that blocks out. 90% of the light, and it reroutes the light over the top. 
And you can see he got to a brighter part of the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it does look like space. The trouble with this is you got to keep them in the middle. So you see how he went off to the, to the side? So it's really a challenge. Yeah, dark field is nothing special. Well, it looks special, but basically what it is, it's a little slide that goes under your light. And if you picture a big circle that all the lights gets through, well, the dark field has a, a dark circle inside the circle and light only passes around around the edges. And what it does is bends the light over the top. So you get that dark background and then the light that bends, a physics trick, I guess, lights them from the top. So yeah, so we on we on 11 minutes right now, and I gotta imagine I had at least 20 people stay on for 11 minutes. So 11 times 20, that's how many minutes this is counted toward my 4,000, so I appreciate everybody. Yeah, um, I don't know what the criteria is. The cri when they won't, I don't think things will split into two and, and go through binary division unless they're in a healthy environment. So yeah, this one could split. Um, you know, the chances that you see it split is slim, but I've seen them, I've come across them splitting. And he's moving so fast I can't zoom in on him or you, you know, he's going to keep moving in and out. Yeah, but notice how nice dark field looks for some things. Although he just caught that. Oh, no, he didn't. Dark field looks good for some things and it stinks for other things. So <laughs> this actually looks good. Now nah, they're too small, Zog, Zog master. Yeah, they're too small. No way on earth. Uh, you, you, you can't see them with light. They're too small for photons to resolve. You need electrons. And I don't have money for an electron microscope. I am saving for a differential interference contrast microscope. If you want to donate, check those out. You still can't see a virus with it, but you can see some amazing stuff. Yeah, I'm chasing him around, so sorry if it's getting a little hectic. Let's, uh, let's, I'm gonna let him go for a second. Uh, the freakiest thing. Uh, what's the freakiest thing? I don't know. Freakiest or the, the best I've seen was, I like stentors. Uh, the freakiest thing I guess I've seen amoebas. Uh, those are pretty cool. I'm looking for one of those Volvox algae people. So hang on, let me see if I can find one. Those are bubbles right there. This is right there, that's a little piece of duckweed. This is just probably some brown algae. Yeah, gingerbread nation. You tell them about, tell them about the DIC microscope. <laughs> yeah, Marbo, tardigrades are cool too. Tell them about the DIC microscope and why I want one. <laughs> so, yeah, it would be great to hit 50 on a live Facebook because all of this adds up. So if, if 50 people watch this for one minute, that's 50 minutes. So... So I can tell you right now, with 44 people watching, and I know I had on and off probably an average of 25 people for 15 minutes, somebody do the math for me. We probably already up way over a few hours. Yeah, well, fish pretty much eat, eat everything on here. You know, little fish will eat this little stuff. Um, Yeah, Marbo, look, if, if, if you could be part of me raising money for that microscope, I'm not going to be shy here. It is $12,000. I'm not rich. You know, I have a house and a car and a grandchild. I can't just go out and buy that. 
but I can borrow half if I can collect half and get donated for half. Yeah, Gingerbread Nation, I mean, your chameleon, you can put them under my, uh, I have a stereo microscope and, uh, oh, there you go. I have a stereo microscope that you could put a chameleon under and look at his skin. So notice this doesn't do as well in dark field. This is my little COVID looking thing right here. So whereas that other one looked great in dark field, this little algae doesn't. So see how that works? Yeah, toilet water, believe it or not, is, you know, if you clean your toilet once in a while, it's fairly, I don't want to say bacteria free, but it's, it's, it's not going to have this stuff in it. It's just not, you know, you would, you would have to not flush it for a long time. There's a Volvac. This is, eh, yeah, you can see how it just, yeah, phase, I, I had to send my phase slider back. It was scratched. So, uh, you know, he, they, it, he don't have another one, so he's waiting. So it was, it was kind of, thanks, Ed. It was kind of, uh, it's good. Phase contrast is not good to look at live. It's, it's just not. It, it just doesn't look right, okay? Uh, so I can see stuff really good, but the people who, uh, who I want to see it doesn't look right. So it, it did have a scratch on it, so I might just take that phase money, which was about $700, and put it toward my uh, DIC microscope, so... And I don't know if you can see that gold bar in the middle, okay? Uh, but that's some kind of, something in my lens. I, I, I think it's some kind of physical property of the lens, stringy things. What are you talking about? What kind of stringy things? Uh, overnight? Nah. Yeah, it would take a little longer than overnight. Put it this way, if, if your dog's going nose around the ground and then comes and drinks water, uh, you're going you're gonna to see stuff after a couple of days. If this is the stringy things you're talking about, these are spirostomum. Spirostomum. They're actually single-celled creatures. Yeah. Uh, and so they're not worms. They look like worms, but they're not. I'm trying to find my, uh, oh, there's two, vo these Volvox are stuck on the side of the lens. I'm going a, I'm to a jump off of uh, dark field for a minute. So now we're back to bright field, regular. And look at these three. <laughs> they migrated to the edge. So that's the edge of the cover slip right here. Yeah, you could. Oh, yeah, gingerbread. If, if That's right. You could put it on a slide. Yeah, the COVID algae polarized. Yeah, well, let's see. I mean, we could look at it polarized. I don't know. Uh, it, since it's starchy, it might might look decent. I got to clean my polarized. I have my fingers all over it. Hang on. So let's see. So subscribe and uh, hit the uh, little bell there because I have a... I made a 15 question little quiz with my videos on it, asking questions. I'm gonna try to get that up in a day or two. You know, I wanna get something decent. I don't wanna just throw something up there for the hell of it. So, so I put the first polarizer on. So let's see if we can polarize this. So notice, so no, they don't do well polarized. Uh, you know, just a little glow there, but it's not bad. It's not bad polarized. Let's see. Yeah, they got a little glow to them. They're right on the edge, so uh, they're right on the edge, so they, they're they not good candidates right now, because if something's on the edge and you got glass right here and no glass right here, it's gonna throw the light off, so you could see that. So we could go try to find another one that's polarized somewhere.
So that's polarized algae right there. Just, I think those are, those spots right there might be scratches on my cover slip right there. Yeah, that's scratches, so. It's hard to find stuff when it's polarized. It's better to find it and then polarize it, so. I mean, but notice algae and all that looks great polarized, doesn't it? <laughs> so. I'm gonna uh, come off polarized for a minute. Cause I, I wanna find, I wanna see if I can find. Yeah, the background is just the polar, polarized light. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Gingerbread Nation. I, I actually have a sheet. When I bought a sheet, it was about 12 bucks for about four inches by four inches. Um, and I didn't, you know, I didn't think to specify, you know, it, when you put it under the microscope or polarize it on top of the bottom, you can actually see all the little imperfections in it. So I kind of don't use it. I use my circular polarizers that I have for my camera. I'm gonna scan around real quick and try to find that big one. Uh, those are bubbles. <laughs> so. Yeah, Cyclops, I, I hadn't had any. I'm going to have to go back. I think Cyclops I can usually find in a pond uh, for some reason. I don't find them in mud puddles. I don't know why, but... I mean, you could see sperm. You have to really zoom in and put the contrast up. Oh, here you go. Let's see what uh, my... Uh, See what he looks like. So there you go. Bucearia in polarized light. So if you notice, Yep, it's like an alien, huh? You know, when you put polarized light on here, you get a lot of artifacts. You know, you get a lot of reflections and you gotta be perfect on, there you go. Um, he might be more intelligent than some people, but not really. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> he's just all about reflexes. So, but he does look like a spaceship, doesn't he? Uh, mm, he, he don't poop. He, he gets stuff in, in a vacuole, okay? And then the vacuole will come out. It'll go, the vacuole will move to the edge and then it'll just kind of pop off of him, I guess you could say. Yeah, he does look like a UFO. And then you could semi-polarize them, see? Where you could see, you know, best of both worlds. Where you could just see some of the brightest uh, stuff in him. That's pretty cool. Hey, we up to 40 live viewers. Thanks a lot, this might grow, so. Ah, uh, right now he's probably just eating some bacteria, but I've seen him eat today some bigger creatures that you can actually see. I've seen him eat stuff that was about one-fourth of his size today. So, 40 people on here, 39 now, so thanks for that. I think 40 was the top I ever got. I'm going to unpolarize this now, and now nah, he's about as big as he'll get. He might get a little bigger, but not not... Really, not too much bigger. I'm a, I'm a fool with, uh... yeah, Tracy, I was on Reddit and I streamed there for about 15 minutes and I told everybody I was coming here. I didn't make a, uh, 
post though. I, you know, I was just heading to live post. This is called a B-U-S-A-R-I-A, -A, and it's a single-celled, a single-celled uh, protus, one cell. And let me go to some YouTube uh, filters here. My favorite, <laughs> look at this. So this is one, I don't know why they put the line, it's called silver. It looks really good. But they put that, uh... oh really, it, it froze? God darn it, that Reddit drives me crazy. And let's see what else we got. Haunt was good. A lot of people like this haunt one. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have a doesn't have a a, a mouth. It has an oral groove. <laughs> Somebody was laughing the other day. So if you look real good, that that I guess it looks like a half circle around the inside of him. You know, going his whole length. You can see how big his mouth is. Look to the look to the six o'clock position, that big opening. That's the top of his oral groove. So he's got a big old giant mouth. Hey, thanks, human with sauce. <laughs> so really, YouTube really kills Reddit in, in quality and these filters are really sharp too. I really like these. <laughs> yeah, gingerbread, that was funny. Let me show them how your grandparents, uh, this one has cilia all over them, little tiny hairs. Watch, this one right here is called, what was this one called? Uh, eight millimeter. So I was telling somebody the other day, this is how, when your grandparents had to look at uh, YouTube protests online, Back in the uh, 20s, this is what it looked like. <laughs> this is uh, Bucerea in an eight millimeter. <laughs> it's actually pretty damn good. Yeah, like this video and hit that, hit that, uh, I guess that bell. Uh, where when I come on, I'll post a new video, you can see it and watch it for me, and hopefully you like it. Because uh, I'm trying to get the 4,000 views. My ultimate goal is a DIC microscope, a lot of money. So donate if you can, and like my videos. I have a, a little quiz, a simple quiz, mostly of stuff that I've discussed here. Like I'll have pictures and videos of my own stuff Okay, and I, uh, I'm putting it together and I'm going to ask the questions and post the questions and you can answer them. It, you know, the whole thing might take about 15 minutes. So if I can get people to watch that and take it, every, everybody that finishes gives me 15 hours of air time. Yeah, I like that smash button. I'm learning a lot about YouTube. Uh, you know, you got to get the 4,000 hours and... The more your ads play later, the more you make. You know, you're gonna make pennies at first, nothing. But if you look at all those professional web pages, I mean YouTube pages, and they have those intros and they tell you what they're gonna look at, some of those won't even get into the content of the video for a minute. They'll have a little bumper splash, they'll have uh, bumper stuff, and they'll say, we're gonna look at this and this and this today, and if you please hit the subscribe button and like this video. Oh, by the way, the song that's playing is ABC. And by the time you're watching a the video, they've had you watching for a minute. And I've seen videos with 2,000 people that viewed it. If 2,000 people just looked at that video for one minute, that's 2,000 minutes. It's insane. So I'm learning. I'm going to do that also. You know, I guess you got to do what you got to do. I'm going to go about, I'm going to go about 10 more minutes on this. I hate to leave with 34 viewers, 
but I'm actually gonna go put on, boil some water and make some spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, Kelvin, that's how it works. <laughs> He's laughing. Go watch, go pick out some of your favorite channels that have the bumpers at the beginning with their logo and stuff. 30 seconds in, they'll start the video. And if you see there's 4,000 views, that's 4,000, that's 2,000 minutes just on their uh, bumper uh, on it. Yeah, I'm actually gonna make spaghetti. <laughs> and this guy, for whatever reason, balled up here. Look, I don't know what he's doing. So this is called silver. This is called haunt. I don't know what he's doing, he kind of stopped. Yep. Yeah, boiling will get rid of these, that's for sure. Boiling will get rid of everything but a tardigrade. Oh, he sure is. Look, he sure is taking a dump. Look, there it is. Somebody called it right here. He's expelling a vacuole, so let's watch. All right, so we'll, we'll end it of this. <laughs> Look, I'm a, I'm a zoom in with regular zoom. So that's how, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't found one in the last week, Joseph, but I'm still looking. Yeah, now it looks like he's expelling something, but it also looks like he might be what you would call lysing uh, or dying. <laughs> so uh, let's see what happens first. Oh, there it goes. Look, here comes something. Look right here. So you can see that Volvox, that little... Uh, yeah, there it goes. You see that green thing right, that that plant thing right in the middle? He ate that a little while ago. Yeah, this cello divide. That is pretty cool to see right here. Y'all seeing some good stuff. Yep. If you could see this other, I'm gonna call them Volvox because they look more like that. You can see this other one right here is inside a vacuole getting digested, see it? And it's actually still spinning in there. So that's something he ate. Oh, I lost him, sorry. Yeah, so he, he got rid of that. So yeah, he wasn't dying. That's an amoeba right there, a testate amoeba. I'm gonna go back to, this is just from a puddle. Yeah, yeah, Leah, Mother Nature's a, a mad scientist. Cosmo Kramer said that. Let me go back to some uh, filters here. A little pink filter, there you go. That's not a bad filter. <laughs> it looks like a face. <laughs> so you can see I have, we have much better fun with YouTube. I mean, you know, you get these good filters that I would have never believed in a million years that they would look this good. This kind of has a little pinkish in it. That's pretty cool. You can do this. Oh no, bubbles. Little dream action here. That's dream. Let's try glamour. Well, you can see that Volvox really good. See right there, it's caught in a vacuole and it, I, I don't know how it digests. It'd be interesting to see if it comes out and still spins around, you know, and still alive. Doesn't look like it's getting digested to me.
I'm gonna go back to eight millimeter. No, the rainwater comes down. If you have a sterile bucket and, you know, a sterile glass and you get rainwater in it, it, it it's going to be pretty clean. It, you're not going to have these things in it because they're too big to get evaporated. I don't even think bacteria goes up. I mean, you know, you, you're talking about evaporation, almost like gas is being boiled off into the atmosphere, I guess you would say evaporated. So nothing can get into it. Now, if they have bacteria floating around in the clouds, I guess it can accumulate, but you're not gonna get this in rainwater. Okay, I'm gonna go about another minute, one o'clock. That stringy thing right there, that is cyanobacteria. That is long strands of bacteria that are actually, uh, have uh, chlorophyll in them. So if you look, uh, I guess I can go, let me see. Yeah, you, now you can kind of see them a little better. You still can't see individual chloroplast, but notice how the cyanobacteria moves. It's bacteria that's in long strands like this, and it can actually move on its own. So see, it's moving right there. So that's not the water moving, that's the bacteria actually moving. And there's the testate amoeba again. Well, wow, that's a different one, that's a smaller one very small is a oh look that's that i think that's that little bubble this guy let out Yeah, yeah, Brian, that's right. So this right here, I'm gonna go in about a minute. So please subscribe. I gotta go cook my food and yeah, look at my profile. I think I got a good microscope I put on there for less than 200 bucks if you wanna save some money and get one. But here's that Volvox inside of them right here. And you can see the cilia right here. You can actually see it. So there you go. And, and there's some cyanobacteria. He'll eat that cyanobacteria, so. All right, so gang, I'm gonna have to cut this off. Let me, let me look one more time in eight millimeter. Whoa, look at that. Let me try haunt. There you go. This is cool, okay. This is what you want to see right there. I hate to leave with 34 viewers, but I'm going to have to. I got uh, responsibilities. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I'm going to be quiet for a few minutes and subscribe. And look for that little quiz I'm going to put on there. Uh, let me answer this, Lauren. This microscope with everything uh, cost me about... $800, 750, uh, which you're looking at right now, but you don't need a $750 microscope. You need about a $100 microscope to see it and about a 200 microscope to have a good experience with it, okay? So look at my profile. I think I got one on there that you can check out, but you surely don't need an expensive microscope to just see this stuff, okay? So thanks a lot. I'm going to be quiet. I'm not going to look at the comments because I keep answering. <laughs> so thanks for watching. And I'll post in here how many viewers I got live and how many minutes that we uh, got attributed to my 4,000. So subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you all later. Thanks.